Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Brown Girl Bella, and I am back with another video. And this video is going to be talking about this new baby that I just got. It is the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Unlocked. And this one was one that I customized myself. So this is the deepest version that they have in the Edit Unlocked for this year. And I thought it would be good to compare it with the other Unlocked Ambien palette that I got last year that I customized. This is in the Butterfly. And this new one is in the Jellyfish. So last year, these were the deepest colors that they had. So I'm going to compare and contrast and let's decide, are they going deeper actually? Or is this just some remix nonsense? <laughs> let's find out, babes. This is the battle of the edit unlocks. Which one is deeper? Let's find out. Brown Girl Bella. All right, so if you haven't heard, yes, I am Brown Girl Bella and sharing with you my thoughts on the new Hourglass Unlocked Edit Palette. Every year they come out with different ones. The last couple of years, last year and now this year, they have been doing them in limited edition packaging that if you go on their website you can customize so this was last year's and i had it customized in the butterflies this is the deepest one that they had at the time so i'm going to show it to you up close yes so that was last year this year they came out with this as the deepest one again i went to hourglass to customize mine they have three different versions as they did last year the deepest version if you don't get it customized is in the one with i guess they're either cougars or jaguars i, I sometimes get my big cats mixed up but it's in that it's like a black and um it has the animals on the front but i love this one very tranquil looking like the jellyfish it's really tranquil so this is the deepest version of that these three palettes so they have a light one they have a medium one and then they have the deepest shade so these are both the deepest shades so i'm going to hold them up together oops yes so we can see on top is the newest one and on the bottom is the older version. So babes, I decided I'm gonna do it a different way. So I'm gonna do it in the way I would normally wear these. So although, I'm gonna hold them up again, they are reorganized differently. This is the new palette, this is the older palette. So I'm gonna do the bronzers together, the marbles, together the highlights together and then the other cheap products together okay sounds good all right so let's do it that way this way we can really com kind of compare apples to apples so i'm going to do all of the golden shades together so we're going to look at this one versus this one and then this one so we have two in the new palette, one in the old palette. So I'm gonna do the two in the new palette first. So this is the first golden champagne-ish color. I would probably use this as a highlight. So that is that color. And then let's go into last year's golden color. very champagne on this side than this one but we do have another one in the new palette 
as a deep version. So let's get that. And I think this is going to be even deeper. Yes. So very light, medium, very deep. So again, these two are the newest ones. And then this one is the one from last year. So as you can see, they did get a little deeper in the champagne color. So let's look at now the marble colors. So I'm going to take a look at the marble colors. We have two marbleized ones here in the new one. And then we have two in the last year's palette. So we're going to look at the two new ones first. So I'm going to take the one at the very top, that second one. And these are for the cheeks. So that is the first new one. A little powdery. I'm going to add a little bit more. There you go. So that's the first one. That's the newest. Then we have this color here, which is, I want to say like a copperized look to it. This is also from the new palette. Wow. Wow. That can almost be another highlight, not really a a uh, blush but you can wear it as a blush too I can see that as a blush and then let's do the two marbleized ones from last year this is the first of the two okay that's definitely more of a highlight I liken it to these three over here that we use. That was in the old palette. And then we have another marbleized one. Oh, wow. I didn't realize how pink that was. So I would almost say like these two can probably be together. This is from the new one and this is from the old one. Interesting. All right. I am next going to go into these browns here. The one from the new and the one from the old. These are supposed to be bronzers. So I'm going to start with the new version. I'm going to put that here. Okay. Definitely not really deep enough for me, my taste. But let's look at the last year version. Last year's version. I think was a little deeper than this. Yeah, this was deeper, definitely. But perhaps, you know, you can layer it and get a different depth. But last year's was definitely deeper. And then lastly, I have left these coppers from last year. So let me do this copper from last year. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, let's do the other kind of copperish one from last year. And that's that one. And then we have this gold from last year, I mean from this year, sorry. So that's the gold from this year. And then, although I swiped it already, let's put that other copper one from
from this year that we already swiped. Let's put it next to these so we can see all four together. So that is this. But next to these, I would say definitely we went deeper this year than last year. But these are all of the shades. But you know, you know what I'm going to say. The swatches only tell a part of the story. What's going to really tell the tale is how they look on the face. So let me wipe off my fingers. Let me grab some brushes. And then we're going to put these to the test. We're going to put these on the face and see what they do. Okay, so I grabbed a few. <laughs> grabbed a few brushes. And let's dive in. I'm going to start with these two here in the middle. I'm going to go pick up a little bit of the marbleized one. And we're going to put that on the cheeks first. Okay. I like it. Soft pink. Has a little hint of rose to it as well. Blends in well into the skin. Doesn't just sit on the skin. It kind of blends in. Very nice use another brush. We're going to go into the bottom one and we're going to put that on the other side. Okay. I'm going to say the one on this side, the marbleized one, is definitely deeper than this one, but you can use them both together. You can use them separately. Um, if you need a deeper one, definitely the marbleized one is the one to go with. If you want a deeper rose deposit on the face. But, you know, if you're looking for like a daytime friendly, this one here at the bottom would be what I would choose. All right. Let's uh, wipe these off and do this one and this one. Because I think these two are both like more blushes to me. All right, now that we have reset the face, let's go in with two other brushes. I'm going to take this brush. And we're going to go into this color first. It's like a pumpkin spice latte over here. And again, like I said, this could be like a highlighter. This can be a blush and highlighter situation. Definitely. A nice pumpkin spice latte moment here. Very deep, but I love it. And it does give you a little bit of um, highlight as well. So you can bring it all the way up and just have that be a moment on the face. Very pretty. Let's try the brown shade and then same deal. We're going to bring it up higher and give it its moment. I still have my little traveler. It's not often that I have a pimple, but when I do, I always find it so strange on my face. I like this moment as well. Very subtle, perfect for daytime. And, uh, yeah, I definitely wouldn't use this as a bronzer if you're my skin tone. This is definitely more deep blush category. But very pretty. Very pretty. All right, now let's try the highlighters, right? Because I think that's the last thing that we 
have left. So I am going to use my flat brush. I'm going to use the marbleized one first. And we're going to put that right in the highest points of the face. Ooh, that's pretty. I'll use a fan brush for. Let's get the one right here at the bottom. Oh, she's bright. Definitely need to spread this and feather it out with my fingers. You need just a little bit for that. She gets sparkly quick. That's okay. Let's do some down the center of the nose so you can see it. Oh, wow. Ooh, yes. So this was the old version of the palette. And this is how it looks all together. Now let's look at the newest version. Same deal. I'm going to do the blushes first and then one on each cheek and then we'll do the highlighters. Uh, one on each cheek as well. So let me reset again and I'll be back with this beautiful new palette and compare the deepest versions of that. All right, we have reset again, babes, and now it's time to try the deepest versions in this new palette to see are they really as deep as they say or not. So, Let's jump in. If you've gotten so far to this point of the video and you have not yet liked, shared, and subscribed, please consider doing so. And don't forget to tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I upload, go live, or post. Thank you. Okay, now let's dive into this beautiful thing right here. This is the latest Edit Unlocked Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked. Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked. It's a lot of names. I wish they would cut the names down, but they have not yet done so. All right, babes, so sorry about that. I don't know how much of that footage you saw. I guess I will see when I play it back. But if you want a bronzer to be in here, it's not going to give you that. If you wanted a highlight, the really light, light highlights, maybe a little powdery on those beyond my skin tone. But for me, especially because I layered both of them on, it gives a nice brightness no matter which one you choose whether you go with what you have the older version if you pick that up or this new deeper version and since I have them both you know I'm gonna use them both together and deepen up these looks but I mean I like it I'm glad that I got it so that I can see where this could go for Hourglass, but this would probably be my last edit unlock unless the next version next year is seriously, seriously deeper than even these. But since they had a lot of re-repeats in the uh, light version as well as the medium version, which was another reason why I didn't get it, the medium version is almost identical to what I have here as a deep version. So that's why I didn't get it. And also because I wanted to do a comparison between these two. Again, now this new one is on the bottom and the old one is on the top. As you can see, like this is definitely a deeper version on the bottom than what's on the top. But if you don't have one and you want to try it and you liked what I did here, 
get the jellyfish version or get the one with the caps on it because that is the same product just in a different packaging if you go on to hourglasses website you can customize this you can get a light palette in what's called the deepest palette and customize it and mix and match as you want but it'll either be the light version the medium version or this one the deep version and as I said, the light and the medium ones have a bunch of re-repeats from the previous edit unlocks. So this one gave me more new shades. So that's why I chose this one. But that is it. That is everything. I like the final look. I like the way the palette performs. The um, powders are really easy to blend, so you won't have a hard time with it if you so choose to get it. Again, the links to these will be in the description box below. Please hit me up in the comment section and let me know which side did you enjoy the most. Did you enjoy this side with the new palette or this side with the old palette? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, you have now been bellified. Bye, babes.